Well, good evening, passionate Bliss fans. I was up late walking through the YouTube streets and I saw a couple of headlines that I thought were interesting. Uh, one in particular was by a um, podcaster named Joe Budden. Um, he is an ex-rapper. He is a loving hip hop star. And uh, he is the father of baby daddy to two young men, okay? And um, what he was saying today was interesting. He said that the pro-black community is getting evil and nasty with their remarks and their public judgment of ASAP Rocky. As you know, ASAP Rocky is the uh, young rapper who did go to jail in Sweden and soon after began crying about his inhumane treatment, um, you know, waste in his cell, roommate with mental issues, banging his head against the wall. Um, even Donald Trump tried to get ASAP Rocky out of jail, all to no avail. Okay, and um, what he said was that he saw the nasty comments that the pro-black community was making online. He said that it was, uh, the timing was tasteless and it did not add to the narrative. Well, Judd Wetton, I need you to sit down and have several seats, okay? Because when ASAP Rocky was making his colorist statements against black women, um, dark women, in fact, telling them that they didn't look good with certain lipstick on, he said that they need to just chill and be quiet. Said that he loved his lights and his whites. Okay, when he was making colorist statements, attacking the appearance of dark-skinned black women, where were you? I didn't hear you jumping up saying that it was uh, tasteless. Didn't add to the narrative that uh, don't give public judgment. I didn't hear you say anything about that being an evil and a nasty thing to say. Joe, sit down and have several seats. If the women on Twitter want to drag him, and tell him that he's receiving his karma, they can do so. He is receiving his karma. And if you and T.I., who also needs to sit down right beside you, don't think that this is his karma, you're fooling yourself. Anytime you have to go back and beg for support from the same community that ASAP Rocky said, and I quote, am I supposed to jump up every time something happens to a black man? What am I, Al Sharpton? That's what he said about the Ferguson situation, remember? Anytime you say this, that you have to jump up every time something happens to a black man, and then when something happens to you because you're a black man and you want somebody to jump up for you, if you don't think that's karma, you dreaming and you tripping. Put the drugs down. If you own any, I'm just guessing. Um, so, you know, I believe, Joe, what's really upsetting you is this. is because when he made those colorist statements, when Chris Brown made his colorist statements, when others have made colorist statements, you kind of giggled. You were on the low with it, but you kind of laughed at it. You thought it was funny, you thought it was cute. You know, when they made those colorist statements and you thought the fact that the black women got upset about it at the open contempt shown for them, you thought it was funny. You kind of giggled at it, right? So what's really bothering you, Joe Budden, is the fact that you know that if the same thing happened to you, that these black people would drag you just like they're dragging ASAP Rocky. A little too close to home, huh? They showed you exactly how they felt about ASAP Rocky when he needed them. And you know that if it happened to you, they would do the same. And justly so. It is their right. And to those who want to make excuses for ASAP Rocky, saying that he's young, I believe he's an adult. Isn't he adult? Isn't he a legal adult? Okay. I believe he's a wealthy man. Isn't he? Okay. Saying he's inexperienced and he can't understand. Is he mentally challenged? He could look at the situation that happened in Ferguson on the television, see black men be shot down by the police, and have no kind of connection, no kind of empathy to it. He's, he's not mentally challenged. He can't understand, okay? Him being inexperienced, you don't have to experience it. I've never been built over and beaten to death by a cop. I saw it happen to Rodney King when I was young and I was afraid. I had feeling, I had empathy, okay? It's never happened to me. None of it's happened to me ever, but I had feeling and I had empathy. So just because he didn't experience it doesn't mean that he shouldn't have feeling or empathy for a brotherhood 
that's being oppressed, that he's a part of. Okay, he doesn't have it. He didn't have it here. I bet he got it now. I bet he got it now. That is karma. It's definitely karma. It's a life lesson. We can fault him. Yes, we can fault him for the things that he said and his inexperience and his sociopathic lack of empathy. We can fault him because he has a major platform that he said it on. He said those colorist things to his generation. He said those colors things to the next generation that's coming on. We can fault him. He bears a responsibility that his position in this society carries with it. He can't be out here saying reckless things. And Sweden showed him that he can't be out here doing reckless things. Oh, he's learning. He's got experience. Now, experience is a good teacher. Experience is a hard teacher. So by no means should we rescue ASAP Rocky from Sweden. By no means should we rally around him and put our dollars and put our energy and our efforts behind getting him released. By no means, because life is teaching him a lesson. Who are we to interfere with that lesson? Okay? Karma is being real bitchy to him. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not laughing at his pain. But I'm laughing at his pain, actually. Karma is being a bigger bitch than we ever could be. Okay? So, he needs to experience it. He needs to go through it. We should not rescue him. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He's not to be rescued. He's not to be rallied around. He's not to be supported or saved. Not by Trump. Not by any pro-black movement. He's learning his lesson. Do not interfere with people who are learning their lesson. Do not interfere with people whom karma is teaching a lesson to. Okay? Let more of us learn that. More of us need to learn that. I've had to learn that as a mother. Stop rescuing my children from their foolish, expensive mistakes. I paid for all my mistakes. And they need to pay for theirs. I have learned that as a mother. Quit rescuing my kids. Let them go through it. And they'll stop. And so... You know, as a member and elder in the black community, my advice to all of us is to stop trying to rescue people that need to go through it. Okay? ASAP Rocky will be fine. Perhaps he'll gain this experience that you all think he can't understand without. Now he's going to get some. Chin up, ASAP Rocky. We'll be here when you get back with our brown skin and red lipstick on. Not chilling. Maybe we'll even get Al Sharpton to jump up for you when you get out of prison.